Welcome to Queen Radio, everyone. My name is Onika Tanya Mirage Petty. And I am currently putting on my gloves. Sweet mice. Oh, that's by my um. Well, now I'm using my lavender Lysol just because I need the ambiance. I need the ambiance. Right. Um. So now. We are, we finna get into some thighs, shit. No. Our in-studio lunch. I'm going right now. It's coming to you live. From Los Angeles, California, on August 11th. Um, now, there will be other um, features available to me when I'm actually in the studio. Well, guys, I'm so now. I'm gonna take some koalas. Um, but give me a second so that I, put, I can see the questions that I liked on my Twitter. So I can start um, rapid fire answering some questions. Okay. My anaconda don't. Between um, talking about, but whatever I'm talking about, it's something that is going to help not only me as a human being, but others. So I saw y'all talking about a bunch of nonsense yesterday, right? About what should be on my documentary. You would have to be fucking S T U to think. I'm going to be in the business of giving any more free promotion. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need a couple motherfucking checks for that, boo. No. My documentary um, is... Any documentary I do is I always am going to do it in hopes that not only am I sharing, you know, personal information and how things came about, but that the overall objective is empowerment. Um, so we don't go backwards. So... Use your motherfucking brain. At Sleazy Barb, does each episode of the doc touch on different eras and years in chronological order? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Mother. Fucking yes. 
Um, uh, Jordan Oreo, how long are each parts? How long are each parts of the documentary? Now, y'all. How long are each parts of the... Each part is an hour. At KJRX Minaj, is there going to be footage of you recording songs for NF5 on the dock? Yes. At Too Sexy for This World, at Nicki Minaj, if there is a freaky girl music video, how would you describe it in one word? I wouldn't. At Chris Duh, will there be a lot of pregnancy footage? You just gotta wait and see, boo boo. At Nova Barbie, how will this album be different and unique from the other albums? Well, that's up for you to decide. Tsunami, how scary is it to share the lows? How does it make you feel to know? How much you inspire your fans. How does it feel seeing your fans grow up and still be here? Well, it's extremely scary to share the lows. Um, it makes me very proud to know I inspire my fans. And seeing fans that grew up with me still here with me always makes me emotional to be honest i never get over that like ever 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 um because you guys are the fucking reason y'all just y'all the reason period Um, <laughs> Big Barb Energy, is there going to be a video of your wedding day on the documentary? <sighs> yes. Boop, boop, boop. At my not. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take some phone calls, y'all. Let me see some. Now, I wonder. Hello. Hola. Hola. 
Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, who's this? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Hello? Um, hi, my, I'm mm -hmm. Chinese. How you doing? Hi, honey. How, what's your name? Um, I'm China Rican. Um, my thing on Twitter is China. Well, Chai Minaj, too. But hi, how are you? Oh my god. Give me one second. Okay. My heart is beating like like crazy right now um okay, okay. we're gonna give you your love moment child we moving for you but yeah so i'm china rican um i'm from brooklyn new york and there i've been a fan of you since 2007 jump off days you was on my myspace playlist and everything <laughs> so oh my goodness Yes. So, yes. did you ever come to a? Did you ever come to a live performance? Yes, I done seen America. I have seen you so many times in person, and mm -hmm. when I tell you, you're so I mean, so I mean, so much. So much. Well, um, I love you so much, and I appreciate you. Yes, yes, I I love you. I love you too. Do you have a question for me, Mama? Um, so I wanted to see, like, I, you don't have to tell us, like, the date or anything, but do you guys have, like, a date for when you put out the documentary yet or no? Yes, we 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 have the month that the documentary is coming. Uh, we do not have the date, but we do have the month. Yes, and it's going to be a very exciting month for the Barbs. That's what I'll say. It's obviously coming out in 2022, so it's not a lot of months left. Yeah. Oh my God, that is that is amazing. Thank you. That's all I wanted to ask you for us, real. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, well, um, I'm sending you all of my good um, energy, and I hope to see you. Are you going to be at the Rolling Loud show? Yes, absolutely. Yay. I'm okay, will you be, you be safe, okay? I love you dearly. I, I already follow you on Twitter, right? No, please follow me. Oh, follow wait, me. hold on. What's your Twitter name? Shy, it's C H I. Minaj, uh -huh. M-I-N-A-J, two. So it's Minaj, right? With an N, not with an M, not with two M's, right? No, not with two M's. So C-H-I, Minaj, M-I-N-A-J, two. Yes, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh, and my daughter, I have a four-year-old, and she's a baby Barb. I call her baby Barb. <laughs> <laughs> she's four years old. Yes, four years old, and she's obsessed. Like, I done raised her right. She loves you. So. <laughs> ever since, every time she, you come out with something and I'm always playing it, she's always, like, dancing and singing along. Right now, her, mm -hmm. she loves high school. And she loves wow. Yes, and she loves Blick. <laughs> she loves your part. She's Ooh. always. <laughs> <laughs> and I have so many videos of her like dancing to you and everything. Okay, well, I found your Twitter. I followed you. Um, is that your first, Is that your only child? Yes, that's my only baby. <laughs> So how long did it take you to realize? Did it feel weird, like af even after like a year? Did it sometimes feel weird when you was looking at this baby and like, but am I really a mother? Like, yes, every day, every day, even to now. Like, to be honest, when I tell you, like, motherhood has honestly changed me so m in so many ways, and mm. and I just look at her and I just be like, damn, like, 
I really got to this moment. Like I'm really like mature and she's the reason why. Mm -hmm. And yeah. being a mom has been like, it's very, it's such a, it's such a beautiful thing to be honest and just seeing her grow right now like she's so I smart let me put on put her on the phone and let me say hi to her real quick okay. hey baby look hold on give me a second look Nicki minaj wants to talk to you baby hi Nicki minaj hi mama how are you say i'm good <laughs> she's playing okay, right well, now. She playing. Well, oh crap! Well, she's listen. Gonna on, <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go and take a, another call, but I love you and thank you so much for the support. It means so fucking much to me. God bless you and your daughter, Mama. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you so much. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. All right. Let me see. Do do. All right, you guys. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna switch gears. I'm gonna play a song. Then I'm gonna come back and switch gears for a second. Cause remember I said we had to get into some things. Yeah, I gotta get into something. I gotta discuss something. Um. What the fuck? <sighs> no, I get hard. You like I know that I'm yours Yes, you do Bow to me and kiss me Listen, no, that's for sure All right, so, yes What? What was that? Oh, now, I want Barb's to listen up, okay? Now I'm telling this to you only. That's why I didn't tweet it. That's why I didn't put it on my Insta story. Okay? It's very important. Each one teach one, right? So when you see someone do this, if you care about them and you love them, you might want to tap them on the shoulder and say, Bobo, you finna be blocked. Now I'm about to tell you what it is, right? Now, nobody can ever say, I ain't tell you. All right. Now, I love you so fucking much, right? But there comes a time when Everyone, especially people with vaginas, have to grow up and protect their peace. So you can always remember by protecting your peace. P is for peace. P is for punani. P is for penis. P is for pepper spray. Um, okay, so I'm going to say this once and I'm not going to say it again, okay? Now listen up. This is only for the ones because that's, that's, that's who's here right now. I'm trusting y'all. If I follow you and I go on my Twitter ever and you you the person I love dearly, are quoting the help. That means 
I have to see the help in my mansion. And, you know, the mansion is where we live on, on Twitter, the kingdom. Um, and that, that doesn't sit right with me. So I will just have to press unfollow or block, okay? Because you guys are very smart and you know what the fuck and what the fuck, okay? If I... Like, what would make you screenshot? The tweet of some super corny person. Then upload it as you, on your Twitter. Just for everybody, everybody to see. Or so now that's on my motherfucking timeline when I come on. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, why would you give them that attention? Why? You can't tell them miserable, Jim. They're suffering. They're suffering. Um, so, I'm going to tell y'all again. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask y'all something. I got to play. I got to spray more. I'm going to laugh in the chair. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Now, for all my, my Caribbean people right now, I'm eating tambourine. It's a spicy tambourine. Um, I don't know if my husband be, be trying to be funny, but because he knows that I love the tambourine, right? And one time we went there, and it was actually before I got pregnant. And then, so, you know, that craving skyrocketed while I was pregnant. And then we happened to move even closer to that store. Well, he goes, and the lady in the store, as soon as he comes in every time, goes... Oh, for your right for your wife, right? And pours the whole goes to the back of her store, uh, the store. Pours the whole box of the tambourine in the ba a basket and brings it in the front and puts it in a plastic bag. And he brings this big ass, never fails, these, they double bag, that's how much they are, and they heavy as hell, and I, and this last time he did it, I realized, I said, what if somebody else had came in the store, and they really was feeling, they was pregnant or something, and they was really having an urge for their little tambourine, you done took every single one, I said, why you gotta take every single one, he's like, cuz, I know you like it, boy, So at night, I be sitting there eating it at night and be waking up, tongue be literally burnt. It's a little, my little spicy thing. And when I was doing my, um, when I was shooting the thing with, with um, carpool karaoke, <laughs> I was eating it. Well, I was eating my ice, right? Um. He was like, oh, let me see what you're eating. Can I have a bite? And I was like, I'm telling you, it's mad spicy. I don't know if you're going to like it. Oh, look who just walked in. You're going to live a long time. I was just telling the boss about you. We on live. We on live. We on Queen Radio. But I told him that you be buying, you keep bringing on home. Now, before I was pregnant, the reason why we used to have to get a lot, because we wasn't living that close to the store. And then after I got pregnant, you knew to get it. But now, I slow down a little bit because I don't got those cravings on. While you be going and taking the whole box, a bag, or whatever that lady got, of tambourines, why you be bringing the whole bag home? I don't know, that's 
still eat it. You bust the whole thing down. <laughs> bust the whole thing down? Excuse me, sir. I don't bust no Not all of it. You eat some of it. And, you know, I just, you know, like to make my wife happy and I give her a lot. You just have a lot, never a little. That's just it. Mm. All right, sexy lady. <laughs> nah. So anyway, he felt the need to, to stack up and buy the whole. No, but my question is, what if somebody was coming, babe? What if another pregnant lady come in the store and they was having their cravings for the tambourine? And you don't, you don't have to take the whole. What I'm saying is, you taking the whole shipment. You don't have to take that because what if another pregnant lady came in, their husband came in. I was looking for they having cravings. You done took the whole motherfucking shipment. You don't gotta do that, okay, babe? Thank you. Huh? You wanna say hi to the barbs? Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, you already know. I was confused. Okay, goodbye. Anyway. So what I had said, what I was saying shit. Um Baby, just. Oh, here go is Barbie B L X Zeus and Aries. We giving and love to make the ones we love happy, no matter what. Golden Poppy, I just make my wife happy. Oh. Buddha's little bomb. Oh, I can't. So sweet, I can't. She's fishy. He laughed. Yeah, and yeah, he laughed because he know he's about to get punched in his mouth. When he do that, I'll be eating all of them, busting them down. You no, know, they be sitting there for a mad long time. Just told me the ice cube. Um. So, oh hi, Ryan Spangali. Um. Yo, where is my boo? My boo, the one that was doing uh shopping and styling. Oh my god, where my baby? Where is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Minaj, my dollars <laughs> said, let that man love you. <laughs> when are we getting baby number two? Uh -uh. Um... Yes, I know that's true. At Emika Punch One says she gets distracted so fast. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, it's a method to my madness. Okay. See, cause when bitches think the queen distracted, <laughs> that's when the queen get active. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck wrong with you, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, because, because, oh, okay, Don Jordan said, girl, we doing Nikki Night after Bowling Lab, oop, Why is Khalil in jail? What happened to my baby at Minaj Coochie? What the fuck is that? What is your name, Sam? Um, 
No, actually, I I don't like to hear that. He's very, he, that's really my baby. I don't like to hear things going wrong with my babies. So I hope he's okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that, me at, at Araya Danielle. When bitches think the queen is distracted, that's when the queen get active. <laughs> Black. Um, okay. So, so, okay, now here we are. Now, so y'all heard what I said. Y'all heard what I was saying, right? Um, and, um, and you guys understand, right? I got, oh, so this was my question. I was about to ask y'all. If you follow somebody, right? But y'all don't interact. What's the, what's the point of y'all following each other, you think? Um, because my thing is this. My thing is this that I always find interesting about human beings, right? Well, the low vibe me say that um, shit like um pretend to not see you pretend you know like if you walk in the store looking all cute and you see you know somebody they see you they try to act like they don't see you but then when you turn around and leave they like oh you can't say hi you know, those kinds of people, like, I mean, I know, like, we joke like that with our actual friends, but, but what goes on, um, pinach, pinach, pinachta, um, are you eating your eyes shaved during cubes? I'm just curious. I actually like them, um, I don't eat them in full cubes. I actually take them outside and I smash the bag up so that they could be really smashy and crunchy and like, you know, small, small, like little individual pieces. Um, but people that follow you and don't interact with you, they be the ones that will notice immediately if you weren't following them. You know, people who interact with everyone but you on social media, right? They be the ones that's going to notice the first if you don't follow them. I have to really careful now. I love Nikki's tired voice. I know. Thank you, boo. They the ones that that's going to do the most when you're no longer following them, yet they clearly don't wish you well and clearly um, don't actually like you. You, you feel me? Um, I just, you know, think it's interesting. Um, <laughs> that's very true. Timna Eman, he says, Zoo doesn't think we're real people. Imagine someone telling you to greet internet people. I would be reluctant to. Um, at Nubian Roy, any fave new sex positions? Because we got to get in some freaky girl things. Oh, yes, thank you. And thank you for throwing to freaky girl. Uh, um, I got some surprises about freaky girl coming up. But guess what, y'all? Freaky girl is not going to be called freaky girl. We're not going to be able to use that name. Ha, 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 ha. 
So it's going to be something close. And when I post the cover art, then you guys will probably see it then. Um, I was thinking about moving up the release. I know a lot of people were asking me about that, moving up the release. Because first of all, y'all got, y'all going crazy with, I meant to tell you guys, thank you so much for all the support and, and everything because um, the label have been hitting me going crazy about us <laughs> with a snippet uh, charting on Shazam and going higher and higher and higher. And um it's kinda it's kind of unbelievable. Um I did not think that that was gonna happen. Um I was just, you know, having fun. I was in the moment. I had such an amazing experience, you know, in London with the people, you know, the people. The people made me feel so happy and um and so I was just in that zone, in that mode, wanting to give you guys something. And I do that. We, you know, definitely was not planned. And then the fucking snippet <laughs> takes the fuck off. And then, of course, you know, the label starts calling me like, yo, what's going on? We got to, you know, figure this out. So um, we're already doing some record breaking things with Freaky Girl, which is amazing. And it's only because of you guys. And I know that I never take, I never take y'all for granted. I never take our bond for granted. Um, well, when I start the shows, the, the in-studio shows on August 11th, you guys will be able to see us. You guys will be able to see me in real time, you know, like how I used to do with the videos and the photos and, um, you know, making it a real dope experience. That's why I am going to keep you guys posted on me inviting a few barbs to the radio show, the in-studio uh, experience. Um, but there's something else that I want to create, right? Now, I always see... I always um, see people talking about they started from an intern and they worked their way up um, in the company. And <laughs> uh -uh. okay, so. At the cruise, her or something. Okay, now answer the question. What's the position? Okay, well, I, I'm glad you guys reminded me. I was answering that question. So, yes, it's funny. We always come up with new um, positions. And uh, I don't know. That's why, you know, that's why I'm so in love with the city because because I think I say this, but I don't know. Like, you know, I think it's because he's so physically strong that he be able to like put my body in all types of shapes that ain't never been in. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be feeling supported so I could throw it back all kinds of ways, sideways, upside down, slant it. <laughs> Planking uh, on a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, rooftop, whatever it is. But he always be so strong with it, and you know, so that's why. But yes, we always be coming up with some new shit. And and then, you know, and then the next day he be like just on my top, like, oh, so how you was doing this? How you was doing that? And I be like, how you was doing this? How you was doing that? You know what I'm saying? Um, and whatnot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all stupid. Um,
And so, <laughs> Nikki X Lewinsky said, Chow, y'all done got her going. Nope, I'm not going there. coochie what the fuck a little coochie squirt oh my god you know what young look at little coo coochie squirt says well what positions are these new ones so i can send them to my man well how I, I don't how do you explain it like i don't how do a person explain the the um position i don't know how to explain it I guess it's just like different ways holding your body, holding your legs, like you know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of tricks. Whether if you want to side, you can you don't have to just be laying like regular to the side. Depending on how your leg is being uh manipulated, one leg or both legs or up in the air always behind my motherfucking um uh, head <sighs> when when you know what i'm saying when he on the top of the queen i guess it's just about <laughs> epic <laughs> yeah don't get me started okay so Oh, y'all, did I tell y'all I got a hammock? It's so beautiful. Well, we've had a hammock for a long time since Papa Bear, right, right after Papa Bear was born. And it was supposed to be like a little sexy little thing for me on my balcony. And bitch, guess who, guess who it gets used by Papa Bear? I got to take him out. He be sitting there looking up to the sky. You would think he is Aladdin, Chad. I'm pushing him and his little self. He over there enjoying the breeze. And I'm sitting here hot and aggravated like, okay, okay. And it was really supposed to be my little thing. It's not even really a, like a hammock because it's covered with sheets. And it's like really beautiful and and just, you know, peaceful, not covered with sheets, but meaning like the sheets come down. It's like a kind of like a teepee shape to the top, I guess. And then when the wind blows, you see like these, this, 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 the sheets you can see through and it's so beautiful. And it's, you know, overlooking the pool and stuff. So it just be fun. But I just realized it, it's it's Papa's now. It's his. I never even been in. I never even laid in the thing in the hammock thing. So what happened to this being my thing? Anyway, so um, uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna read that question, uh, Mister at the bad guy Andrew, um. At Ride with Minaj, when will we get the new song title for Free Girl? Well, I can technically give it to you guys now, but I don't know. Let's see. Let me think about it, y'all. But definitely, obviously, you would have it when I when I post the cover art. Um, so yeah, let's wait. Let's wait and see. Um now let me see. Who's next on the phone? Who should I call now? Hmm. Do, do, do. All right. Wait, I tried this person earlier. Oh, much, yeah. Hello? Hola? One more time. How does the first verse from, from Bad as Bitch start? It starts the same way. Not every club promoter want to bid like auctions because I pack shows sell ticks like Boston. What's the next line? What's the next? What's the next line? Do 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 do. 
ルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルマーマー。Huh? You should follow me on Twitter. Okay, what's your name? Is Dean Keyshawn, D E A N K E S H A W N. D E A N K. Yeah, K E E S H S H A W N. Okay. Um, all right. Good night. Hi, I love you. Bye. I need to figure out somebody that could rap that song now because now you done got me like trying to figure it out. Okay, told me I love you very much. I will see you at Rolling Loud, boo. Love you, Queen. Bye. Bye. Mama, what's up? Hi, boo. Now, do you do you know an old rap that you want me to sing? Because Toby. Gonna ask me to, to rap. Yeah. I don't. I don't really know that song, but I want you to rap something like. When they start talking crazy, that's when I'm. Mm, all no, that. fuck all that. No. Hey yo, where my BFF? Where my Playboy Bunny? Where that nigga you F? Why we pull up in the spot where everybody's good left? What? Why they screwing up the best? What? That's um, uh, girlfriend. Or you can play um, kill the, kill the fucking DJ or she something. Gotta something. play once more and win again. I came up looking at the party and now I'm owned in that building. These bitches came up in my spot as well. I start raising some children. Oh, let us see. Let us see. I don't know, sissy, but you went off on that song. Okay, we a little Thank you. Yo, that's sis, one of my favorite. On, on some real shit, like you was you a sad. I'm a Leo, so you know we already like there with it. I'm a hip hop dancer. Says, let me yo, please just book me. Like, you know, I don't want no coin or nothing. Like, I just, let me hit a little step. Like, and that's just that. Okay, well, did you put together anything for Freaky Girl? Not, to, you freak, just... not to Freaky Girl, yeah, but shit, like, it's nothing. Oh, sorry, can I cuss Well, you need to be on here. Who had Pine Day saying she a problem? We'll do monster no more, though. Shit, okay, we monstered out. Shit, this <laughs> Who made Lil Wayne give a five minute? What the fuck I gotta say though? You niggas don't know you yet. Football touchdown. Oh my god. You must say that. Wrist icy, but it ain't snowing yet. That's my boyfriend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can tell him that. And then come my love. Let her, let her talk. No, no, that's, that's, that's my boyfriend. I'm sorry. Love. That's the shit that you should be talking. Fuck all these dumb ass bitches. Oh my god. They can't stand it with you guys at all. Uzi the dancer, are y'all gonna be at Rolling Loud? Yes, we there, are. sis. We there. But if I go there, okay. can I see my sis? Can I see my sis? I want to pick up. Do I follow you? You don't. Oh my gosh, yo, this is so like unrelatable. But um, can your makeup artist? I went to Oxen Hill High School with her. Like that's my sis. Like we graduated after me. Like yo, like dead ass. Like she knows the vibes. Tay follow me on Instagram. I met I met Tay down in um Atlantic City and ATL. Quinn. I mean, sorry, I say Quinn. 
uh kid we went to, we, we, we graduated together she graduated again before me but that's my say she did my makeup my uh i'm not my makeup my uh headshot to honestly i'm a dancer ask her about me like she know me like i'm legit so it's like yo i'm re- i really hit a step my my uh instagram is uzi dancer my uh ig i mean shit. my twitter is young boy uzi y-u-n-g-b-o-i uzi i uzi i sorry i'm a little tipsy sorry um, wait. Take a little break, but I'm back to me. Yo, he's high. <laughs> Who the fuck gonna pull up in the same looking everybody in pity with this the like pity bitch, bitch too? Who the fuck gonna pull up in the pity with the brother on the credit cards too? Huh? I wish a bitch would stay. I'm like, what? Please show up. Yo, what? Okay. All right. Now, you guys, I love you dearly. I will see you at Rolling Loud. I will do it again. Just because you guys ask. We'll see you there, be safe and I will see you there. Good night. 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 Good bawling, like actual sobbing. Um, and I, I always have to stop it and then, you know, get myself together. Now, there are, there are stories that I'm going to be obviously able to tell you guys once the documentary airs. That's, that's when all the fun stuff, you know, the fun conversations are going to happen. Um, but, but to the people that were asking me, you know, like how I was dealing with looking at it, because the thing is, if you've ever watched my documentaries in the past, I always like to give people, you know, a bang for their buck. I don't believe in like, you know, hyping up a documentary for a check and then people see it as boring as fuck. Like, you know, I don't like, I don't like that. Um, and so even though that first documentary I ever did was fucking record breaking for MTV for years and years, um, no, no other documentary was watched as much as that. Um, And I think, I, I I think the Miley Cyrus documentary came after, and I think that one was the first one to have that um, number or something. I, I don't remember. But, but um, anyway, so the first documentary was Record Breaking for MTV. And, and even that, didn't used to make me, you know, be sobbing, crying. But also, that was just a one-hour documentary. I didn't even realize that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even realize that the reason why this has been so emotional and not always sad. Like, when I say emotional, not necessarily always sad, too. Like, it's just a, it's just sometimes, you know, a, a lot to digest because... It's you, it's your face there, it's your story, and once you put it out, um, people create their own stories from your story, whether it's truth or fiction. But I didn't realize it was because it's so much more content than any of my other documentaries. The other documentaries were like an hour long and, you know, but I always try to make sure that the documentary is is at least trying to go below the surface. So what I'll say about this one is it not only goes below the surface, it goes below the surface. Um, but it goes below, below the surface on what I want to go below the surface on right now. And like I said, 
we will add more. So I think that it's possible that whether, you know, maybe I'll start adding those episodes now or maybe I'll wait until you guys see the first six and that we can gradually talk through what you guys wanted to, you know, want to see more of or what you want to see that that didn't make the, the cut. Um, it's just, it's just so much, you know, it's a lot of footage. Um, we've been filming, we've been capturing BTS footage for years. And keep in mind, I've never put out a documentary. Documentaries have been done about me and been put out, but this time I am an executive producer of the documentary. So I partnered with Braun Studios, who was very successful. If you want to Google them, yeah, yeah. Um, and so we are equal partners on this documentary. So therefore, I'm using actual footage that, you know, Grizz and I have been uh, obtaining for, for the last, I don't know, 10 years, whatever. And also, of course, to the people who asked me um, how far in my life does, does it go, whatever. Of course, it's, it's up to, you know, present, present time in my life. Why wouldn't it be? So, yes. And in terms of <clears throat> NM5 footage, Yes, there's definitely going to be NM5 footage on there. Um, you know, there is a piece of footage that I have that I think would be so freaking dope and iconic. It's with someone that I really, really, really love. Um, if I get their permission to include it, I will throw that in on, on this first six, on the first six Um. initial six episodes maybe like on the end i don't know but i think i know y'all will love that freaking footage so i might that's the only thing that i think at right now i may add maybe i'll ask this person um possibly you know possibly some stuff with i don't know maybe you, you know even with the ovo stuff this you know that's coming up i think it will be so I think that's going to be so fucking dope. You know, what you know, maybe we get some a little bit of that, who knows. But for the most part, yeah, everything for those episodes are done. And it took a long time to get them to a place where well, I'll tell y'all after. It, it's, it's it's a it's a, it's, a, it's it's interesting to explain it. But I had to put on my boss hat and cuz what I realized is if you, especially as a woman, as a black woman, especially, don't, don't speak up, right? People will do, will pull a fast one right under your motherfucking nose and you won't even fucking know. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be really attentive. And that's all I'll say about that. Anyway, um, okay, so let me see. We have, until we wrap up, y'all, we have, how many more minutes do we have on my show? Um, and I'm going to go to Twitter and you tell me what subject matter you want me to end my show with. Because now I think we have eight more minutes. I'm going to go to Twitter. You guys ask me the remaining questions that you want me to talk about. But keep in mind that we are, this is all in, in a countdown to August 11th for our big Queen Radio show to, um, to top it off. So let me see what y'all got to say. Um... Oh, fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here.
Anyway, you guys, I love you dearly. That wraps up my time for my show. I'm going to do another show before we do our big show on August 11th. Or even maybe more than one. Who knows? But in the meantime, I just said a lot of shit. How much of it did y'all not hear? Oh, my God. What a mother freaking drk. Um... I did not mute myself. I did not mute myself. Onika H.B. Mirage said, oh, she was talking? Yes, I was talking. At NYC Baby said, what was the speech? I gave a big speech. Y'all ain't hear shit? At Shelly underscore 400 said, ma'am, everything, it went blank. Blood clot, pussy wall. On a suck on a blood clot. I don't know. Y'all going to have to tell me where it went blank on. Anyway, I fucking love you. God bless you. Please do not limit yourself on anything that you have to do. Please know that I appreciate you dearly. Please know that you mean something. You are important. You are amazing. You are worth it. You are worth being treated well and great. You heard me. Okay. Now. Oh, I'm trying to get an official. What's my own? I'm trying to make. Oh. No, I was talking about a bunch of shit. And I anyway, y'all, I love you dearly. Be good. Um, Take care of yourselves. And let me. Oh, I was saying, let me know your favorite user experience. And also. I was talking about the documentary. Just chill and, uh, and relish in the excitement of someone dropping an album so that you can be surprised. Because I was saying in my speech that y'all be making shit up in y'all head and then be mad. So, no, I don't have any album info right now because I'm about to drop Freaky Girl on August 12th and doing my first in-studio Queen Radio on August 11th. Shout out to Canada and shout out to Drizzy Drake, Toronto, Canada, OVO Fest won the first. Shout out to Little Wayne and the whole Young Money crew. It was Mac May's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Mac May. I love you. All right, you guys. Love you. Mm -hmm.